universe is made up of billions <laughs> and billions of galaxies. I think, you know, uh, Carl's greatest achievement, as far as I can see, and of course I know very little about all this stuff, and I'm sure a lot of scientists would have very different things to say, uh, but for me is to have illuminated for us just how big and beautiful and, uh, and enormous and wonderful um, the, the, our universe is. When they found ice on the moon, when they found hints of life on Mars, with discovery after discovery, Dr. Carl Sagan encouraged us all to look for the skies and dream. This has been a remarkable year uh, for NASA. We've found planets going around nearby stars. It was a remarkable year and a challenging one for Dr. Sagan, too. All that new science to revel in, and at the same time fighting a rare blood disease which brought about cancer. When Carl was four, his parents took him a million miles from the Depression and from Brooklyn to the 1939 World's Fair. Carl was captivated by this wonderful vision of the future, a world ordered by science where everything was streamlined and clean and no one was poor. The fair sparked dreams of lights in the sky. More than just fireworks, he was always dreaming of stars. Uh, he must have been seven or eight. When he went up to a librarian and asked, can she find him a book having to do with the stars? And she said, sure, Sonny, just a minute, I'll be back. She came back with a, a book about Clark Gable, Greta Garbo, um, Hollywood stars. When he finally conveyed what he was after, Carl read an entire book on astronomy in one sitting. In a big bang of consciousness, the scale of the universe opened up for him. If the stars are distant suns, they may have other planets, planets teeming with life. The possibility of uh, that there might be life elsewhere charmed him and excited him at a very young age. He wanted to be the kind of astronomer who studied people and made connections with the people out there and the intelligence out there. While Sagan did not give up on Mars, he opened up his search for other life. Even if you weren't, you know, don't have some singular memory of seeing him for the first time. Um, he sort of is in the lexicon. I think he's kind of become a fixture of Americana. And um, I think luckily for us, uh, because I, I mean, I know what kind of impact that has on a younger generation. And uh, on myself, just for myself, I knew that there was somebody out there who was talking about a science in a way that I could relate to.